Hello and welcome. My name is Alia Khan and you're watching The Modest Chapter. Today I have a very exciting guest, Dr. Rangna. Welcome to the show. Thank you. How are you? Good, thank you. You do some really impressive things. I've been reading about you and I think I'm already a huge fan. <laughs> so tell me about your work. You do something called The Journey, which was introduced by Brandon Bayes. And I've heard many people who have taken your, your seminar and your workshops that swear by it and say that they've even cured themselves. Right. That's unbelievable. Can you talk about it, please? Sure, of course I can. Um, so what happened is I was living in Florida and I went for my annual checkup and the medical doctor shared with me that I would never be able to have children because I had a chronic hormonal condition. And, you know, being a woman, that's the last thing you expect someone to tell you. Having a child is part of a female identity. And it felt in that moment when she gave me the news, part of my identity shattered. And I left the hospital and I was driving the next week and I had a little red car and driving in my red car. And my, that old style Nokia oh, phone no. and I picked it up and it hospital and I spoke to my doctor and she said you need to come in and get surgery immediately you've been diagnosed with abnormal cells and the irony of it is I have a PhD in cancer research from Oxford University I have studied the same cells in a laboratory and written a clinical paper that were in my body you see you never expect the fate to be yours you always think it's somebody else outside yourself and so as the news went in it was like I just swallowed and um, and I just said no she said you got to come in and I did something really illogical being a scientist which was I said no I'm not coming in and she was like okay well we can no longer offer you any free medical care through insurance and I still said no and I just had an inner knowing that I was not meant to be doing surgery in that moment or receiving the medication. It, I have no idea. And then I didn't tell my parents, I didn't tell anybody in my life, any, anyone close to me, I didn't mention what had happened. And yet I felt like there was a time bomb taking away inside my body. You took such a big chance. That was a huge risk, but you didn't feel like you were endangering your, yourself at all. No, I didn't. I had a trust in that moment and I cannot explain the trust to you because on the one side was a derelict building in which I parked the car on the other side was the Florida coastline turquoise blue waters and white sand and I just knew as I looked out into the waters that there was hope I just didn't know what I was lost I was lost I didn't know what and I knew my answer was no Yet, it was the hugest leap of faith you've ever taken in your life. One of the hugest leaps of faith I've ever taken in my life. There's been many. And what did you do next? So next I came back to England and my parents were living with me at the time and my mother bought the book, this book, The Journey. And it was lying on my bed and I was a non-believer. Being a sort of PhD and a scientist and working in the medical profession, I really didn't believe in alternate therapy. And my mom, you know, would always attempt to share with me some little snippets. I'd be like, Ma, take your weird alternate therapy stuff and please could you put it somewhere else? <laughs> and there was the book on the bed and it was staring at me. And I, and I saw like Brandon's yellow hair and I looked the book blue and gold and I got angry. And I picked up the book and I said to Ma, you take this book away, I don't want it in my house. Take it away, take it out of my house. It was like I rejected the possible answer that was waiting for me in that moment because I felt so scared on the inside. So why did your mother feel so strongly about this? What, she us? didn't, she just bought it casually. So tell us a little bit about Brandon Bayes. Sure. Give us some background. I'll give you some background. Um, I want to just share one thing though because what happened, my mom, she picked up the book and she dusted it off because my mother is my biggest teacher of unconditional love and she put it in her bag and she went back to India and it was only a month later after my father passed over and I was at home I looked at the book again and I had enough humility to pick up the book and read it and as I read the book I had tears I had laughter I had all the myriad of emotions but this is one thing I knew for sure in my heart I had found a way to heal myself because you just asked me about the book. The premise in the book is based on three main things and it's based on the work of Deepak Chopra as well who asked a very radical question and the question he asked was not the reason people get sick 
The question he asked was, what's the reason people heal? And he